see down here that say try these, they are going to reflect on understanding the first two rules. The first two rules, I never want you, for me, it's not important that you memorize the name of the rule, only that you can apply it. If it helps for you to write, like jot down a little bit of notes off to the side, feel free to do that. This rule says when you have the same base and you're multiplying, you're going to add the exponents. So I'm going to write same base and multiplying, add exponents. That's what the first rule says. The second rule says the same type of concept. It says, but when you have the same base and you're dividing, you're going to subtract the exponents. So those are the first two rules. Okay, so I'm going to run through these pretty quickly. And most people don't have a calculator in your desk. You'll grab a calculator when it's time to do the homework. You don't have to have a calculator right now. Like, having a calculator does not, um, is not the purpose of getting this answer. Okay, here we go. Going to go quick. You're going down to the try these. So I have the same base. The base is 3, and I'm multiplying. This is like rule 1. Same base says keep the base exactly the same. You don't multiply to make it 9. Keep the base the same, and you add. So 2 plus 2 is 4. And I know that 3 to the 4th is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 81. Same base and I multiply and I keep the base the same. Biggest misconception is people think it's going to be a 25 as the base. Keep the base the same. You're going to add the exponents. 2 plus 4 is 6. I don't know offhand what 5 to the 6th is. So I'm going to go 5 to the 6th power is 15,625. Same base again. So this is going to be A raised to the 5 plus 2, which is 7. All right, this one is just a slightly different, and why this one is different is now we have a coefficient in front of both variables. So since they are the same variable, let's first take care of the variables. This is s to the, well, 2 plus 7, because again, when you're multiplying with the same base, you add. 2 plus 7 is 9. Now I'm going to multiply the coefficients. 2 times 4 is 8. If something is in parentheses, when you rewrite it, it must remain in parentheses. So for instance, this was in parentheses, it must remain in parentheses. So negative 3 to the, again, multiplying, same base, we add exponents to the fifth. Now I grab the calculator. Again, it was in parentheses, so it must remain in parentheses. Negative 3 to the fifth power is negative 243. Sixth one. I have S's and I'm multiplying, so same base and multiplying, I add. It's S to the ninth, same base T's and I'm multiplying, T's to the seventh. So that is the concept for the first rule. Can I have a thumbs up or thumbs down if you're understanding that right now? Most people are thumbs up. Okay, let's go to, this, to 7 through 10. Now we're going to do dividing. And different teachers teach this differently and you can still get the same answer. Here's how I do it personally. Same base and dividing, so I'm going to subtract the exponents. Now, some people say, well, how do I subtract them? I always choose to say, take the larger exponent and subtract the smaller one. So 12 subtract 4 is 8. And where you place the answer is where the larger exponent was, which is on top. So s to the 8 over 1. Now, it's not required that you put a 1 on the bottom, but you can see then there's a top and bottom. We'll show you later when it does make a difference. Okay, so I have 3, same base, and I'm dividing. So this is 3 to the, subtract exponents, 9 minus 5 is 4. four. And we're going to write it on top where the larger exponent was. By the way, we do know 3 to the 4th. 3 to the 4th is 81 over 1, which is simply 81. Focus on same base, same base and dividing. I'm going to subtract 12, subtract 4 is 8. The larger exponent was on top, so s to the 8th goes on top. Same base, 8 subtract 4 is 4. Larger exponents on top, it stays on top. All right, I can divide these coefficients. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Larger number is on top. 
same bases and dividing, I subtract. 5 subtract 4 is 1. Larger exponent is on top. 8 subtract 5 is 3. Larger exponent is on top. Feel free to put a 1 on the bottom. Not required, like number 7. Look back up above. We're going to look at the next two. So we're doing these, try these in groups of two. So the next two is what we're going to do is power to a power rule and power of a product. So this is how it works. When you have an exponent raised to another exponent or a power raised to another power, same thing, you multiply them. Instead of adding here, notice how, do you see how I have two bases in this problem? Does everybody see that? Here, how many bases do you have? Just one. Now you have two exponents. So when you have an exponent raised to the next exponent, you multiply them. Power of a product just says you distribute. So distribute this m to everything inside. Those are going to be the next two that we do. And this power of a product, by the way, also applies to division. So you apply it whether you're multiplying or whether you're dividing. Okay, so the next two. All right, so here's an example where you have power to a power, exponent to an exponent. So you multiply 3 to the not 7, but 3 to the 10th. I don't know that answer off the top of my head, so I'm going to go 3 to the... 10th power, the answer is 59,049. Okay? Exponent raised to another exponent, or think of it as power to a power, becomes a to the 12th. Done. Number three students have struggled with in the past because they forget this 2 has a hidden 1 as an exponent. So this becomes 2 raised to the 3rd, because you multiply, and a raised to the sixth. Two to the third is eight, a to the sixth. This is not six, this is not two times three, it's two times two times two, three times to achieve an answer of eight. She's in my third hour. Okay, I'm gonna distribute the two to the exponents. Power of a product, okay? Again, you don't have to memorize the words. You just have to know the actions. When you distribute, you multiply. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 to the 4th is not 8. It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. A to the 10th, B to the 6th. Okay, this gets a little bit trickier. Notice how this is in parentheses. It makes a difference. What is the exponent that's currently hiding on the negative 3? One. Distribute to get negative 3. Keep it in parentheses. It makes a difference. Negative 3 to the second because you multiply and a to the fourth. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. a to the fourth. Okay, again, we're going to distribute. Whenever you distribute, you multiply it. S to the 6th, T to the 12th. Thumbs up or thumbs down so far? Okay, let's go on. These will be just slightly harder. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do power to a quotient. So we look to the inside to see if there's anything we can simplify, and then we distribute the 5. Can you simplify an S and a T? You can because they're not the same bases. What are the exponents on the S and on the T? Okay, distribute, that means multiply, s to the fifth, distribute, t to the fifth. Nothing more I can do. But when I look at number eight, there is something more I can do. Because you have the same base, we look at the exponents and we can subtract them because we're doing division. Once again, when you're dividing and you have the same base, you subtract exponents. Nine subtract five is four, the larger exponent was on top. Now I apply the 2 afterwards, the 2 that was out back. So this becomes not 3 to the 6, but 3 to the 8. I don't know that answer at the top of my head again, so I'm going to plug it in to a calculator, and the answer is 6,561. This S cannot reduce with any other of the variables, so the S currently has a hidden 1. It becomes s squared once it's distributed. 
The t's can be reduced. 8 subtract 4 is 4. The larger exponent was on top. So really this is t to the fourth, but then I have to remember to distribute this too. So it really becomes s squared times t to the eighth. I'll say that again. I may have said it wrong. So this is 8 subtract 4, which is 4, correct? Yes, no? Yes. So it's t to the fourth inside. So if I'll just do that over here. This is t to the fourth inside, but then you have to distribute the two outside, and since this is a power to a power, you multiply and get t to the eighth. So what about the r? We haven't got to that far yet. The r has an exponent of one. It can't distribute with any, sorry, it can't combine with anything else. So one times two is two. Notice the r is on the bottom. Okay, so first I'm going to see what I can simplify, and then I'll, I will distribute the two. 36 divided by 4 is 9 larger numbers on top. 5 subtract 4 is 1. 8 of the 1th largest exponent is on top. 8 subtract 5 is 3. Larger exponent is on top. So really there's a 1 on the bottom, but dividing by 1 you know doesn't change anything. What is the exponent currently on the 9 that we can't see? Distribute, that becomes 9 squared, which is 81. Distribute, distribute to get a to the second and b to the sixth. Turn back to the front page. There's two rules that were not included in that box. Two rules. <clears throat> the first one is a negative exponent rule. Negative exponent rule says this. If you have a to the negative m over b to the negative m, they both aren't happy. We don't care if the coefficient is negative. We are only focused on the exponent. You have only two places you can go here. You can go on top or you can go on bottom. There's no other places you can move. If something has a negative exponent, it says, I'm not happy where I currently am. I want to move. So the a isn't happy. It goes to the bottom. Now it's happy. The B isn't happy, it goes to the top, and now it's happy. The other rule is the zero exponent rule. And that says, regardless of what is inside a parenthesis, when you take anything raised to the zero power, the answer every single time is an answer of one. When you're done, you're going to flip. We're going to go to the try these, the last 10. Does anybody need longer time before I flip? Okay, so flip to the back here. So automatically, something to the zero is automatically done. Now, this one is tricky. Because this one involves a rule, one of the first two rules, and then it applies the new rule. Remember, when you're multiplying and you have the same base, you add the exponents. So 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2. Is the y happy? The y currently is not happy, and it's on top. So it goes to the bottom and becomes happy. And we have to put something on top that doesn't affect the value. It's a 1. Placing a zero there, I've heard students say, well, can't I put a zero on top? Remember, zero div divided by anything would be zero. That would wipe out the value. Okay, we are going to distribute. When you distribute x once you multiply, this becomes a to the negative 5. a is not happy. It goes to the bottom. Now it's happy. Again, 1 on top. I would like to change this one up. So please do me a favor and put a negative 4 Make it a negative. It currently is not a negative on your paper. What is in front of the first S? One. So 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. And when you have the same, when you have the same variables, you and you're multiplying, you add the excellent. So negative 2 and 7 is 5. So a common misconception is students say, 
The S is happy, but the 4 is not. That's not true. We are only, only focused on exponents. These are, the whole idea is property of exponents here. So, in fact, what is the exponent on the negative 4? A 1. So is it happy? Yes. Don't move it. Is it happy? Yes. Don't move it. There's nothing in here that can be reduced, so I'm going to simply distribute a negative 4 to everything inside. Don't forget about the 3. So 3 to the negative 4, x to the positive 8, and y to the negative 12. When you distribute, you multiply. The 3 is not happy. It goes to the bottom. Now it becomes happy. The x is already happy. Nothing changes. And the y goes to the bottom and becomes happy. Now, there's nothing wrong with what I just did, but we can figure out what 3 to the 4th is. We've already done it a couple times today. Does anybody remember what is 3 to the 4th? It is 81. And number 6, anything to the 0 power is 1. Okay, moving over to 7, the last four problems. What is the exponent that is currently on the x inside? So I can't combine these because they're not the same base, so I'm going to distribute. When you distribute, you multiply. So 2 to the negative 2 over x to the negative 1. Is the 2 happy? No. Comes down to the bottom. It now becomes happy. x isn't happy. It goes to the top. And we know that 2 squared on the bottom is the same as 4. Okay, next up, I can reduce this. So 9 subtract 5 is 4. So this is 3 to the 4th raised to the negative 2. Now when I distribute this negative 2, it becomes 3 to the negative 8. Is it happy? No. Goes to the bottom and becomes happy. And I don't know what 3 to the 8th is, so I'm going to plug it in. And 3 to the 8th is the answer of 6,561. Number nine, I would like you, let's see if we can do it in a minute. I'd like to give you 45 seconds to try it on your own. And if you do get done in less than 45 seconds, look up on my answer and I'll start doing it. Ready? Get set and go. Number nine. So I asked several students in the previous hour, and they all gave me a wrong answer. So if I can everybody's attention here, even if you're not done. And they forgot one thing here. When you combine these S's, 4 subtract 2 is 2, right? Yeah. But where is the larger exponent? At the bottom. And 4 subtract 2 is 2 again, and the larger exponent is on the bottom. Now I'm going to distribute that negative 2. It becomes... 1 to the negative 2, s to the negative 4, and t to the negative 4. The 1 isn't happy. It goes to the bottom. s goes to the top. It's now happy, and t goes to the top. What is 1 squared? One. And when you divide something by 1, does it change the value? No. So really, this is the same thing as just this answer. You're welcome to have 1 on the bottom, though. Can you raise your hands if you happen to get that right? Very impressed. Okay, next one. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Larger numbers on top. 5 minus 4 is 1. Larger exponents on top. And b to the 5th is all by itself on the bottom. So I'm going to distribute the negative 2 to everything inside. 9 to the negative 2, a to the negative 2, and b to the negative 10. Then I'm going to make it happy. 
and I squared the 9. I'm going to do three practice problems with you before I assign work. Okay, here's the first one. You ready? I want to see if you can have this answer done in, let's say, 10 seconds. You can write it on the side. We're only going to do three problems. Okay, ready? Anywhere you want to write it. Get set, go. Esme, what do you believe the answer is? What would you say? Nine cubed. Nine cubed. Does anybody else agree with that or disagree? So your hand went up. Let's go here and here. What do you believe it is, Jesus? Three to the fourth. So let's pretend this is a quiz. That's okay. Three to the fourth. This is a quiz. Anybody else have an answer for me? Yes. One of these three is correct. Turn to your partner right now and discuss which one you think is right. So, Esme, I'm really happy you actually said that because when I walked around and I assigned homework in the previous hour, literally I went through seven kids before one person got this answer like this right. Kids, students consistently went three times three is nine, and then most of them put nine to the fourth, okay? So remember, when you had the same base, you keep the base the same, you add the exponents, and we know that three to the fourth is 81, or you could use a calculator to get that answer. All right, here is the second type of problem that really tricks students. Please work with your partner on this problem. I'm going to give you 25 seconds. Begin. Jacob, do you have an answer? Uh, no? Louise, do you have an answer? Do you have an answer? Go. Yeah. One over, no, yeah, one over five to the 18th. One over five to the 18th. I'd like to have three answers and then we'll talk about which one. Does anybody else have a different answer? Louise is the only one who's willing to share an answer. Thank you, Louise. Anybody else? You all got the same. Did anybody else get a different answer? He believes it's 1 over 5 to the 18th. Okay, so let's go over this answer. Luis, thank you for sharing. So in here, do you agree that this is a power to a power exponent to an exponent? Yeah. What do you do when you have that? You multiply. What's 3 times negative 2? Negative 6. Now, do you, please listen. Do you agree we have the same base and we're multiplying? So what do we do with the exponents? Add them. And when you add them, you end up with an answer of? But if this was your, if this was your final answer, it would still be wrong. Because what is anything to the zero? One. One. Okay? One more problem in ten seconds to do it. Ten. You can do it in your head if you want. Nine. Eight. Which one of these answers is correct? Turn to your partner. What do you do when you have the same base and you're dividing? Subtract. Larger number goes on top. Okay, so I